Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through, through and, and through, through from, from my, my wickedness. wickedness. And, and cleanse, cleanse me, me from, from my, my sin. sin. For I know my offenses, and my sin is ever before me. Against, Against you, you only have I, I sinned, and, and done, done what, what is evil, evil in your sight. sight. So you, you are justified when you speak, speak and write in your judgment. Indeed, I was born steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Indeed, Indeed you, delight you delight in truth deep, deep within, within me. me and would, and would have, have me know, know wisdom, wisdom deep, deep within. within. Remove my sins with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Let, Let me, me hear joy, joy and gladness, and gladness that, that the body you have broken may rejoice. rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my wickedness. Create, Create in me a clean heart, heart O God, and, and renew, renew a, a right, right spirit within, within me. me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore, Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let me teach your ways to offenders, and sinners shall be restored to you. Rescue, Rescue me, me from, from bloodshed, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you, For you take, take no delight in sacrifice, sacrifice or I would give it. it. You, you are, are not pleased with burnt offering. offering. The, the sacrifice, sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a troubled and broken heart, O God, you will not despise. The grace of Jesus Christ, our Savior, the reconciling love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-giving living God, you hate nothing you have made, and, and you, you forgive, forgive the, the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts. hearts. So that, so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you, the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke the ninth chapter. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. When the days draw near for Jesus to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he set messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. But they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, O Christ. Christ.
So last year, Under Armour changed their slogan. They went from protect this house to we will or I will to this. The only way is through. The only way is through. That is a paraphrase of a line in Robert Frost's A Servant to Servants poem. where He says the best way out is always through. What does this mean? The only way is through. Well, I hear that. I think it's when faced with a daunting task, the best solution is to persevere, to keep on keeping on. Often the worst situations in life cannot be avoided, so we best face them and push through. In the transfiguration story we heard on Sunday, Jesus is again said to be God's son. Second time that God, God's self, proclaims that. Jesus appears with the Old Testament heavyweights, Moses and Elijah. And Peter, well, he freaks out a bit. He suggests that they stay on the mount. And he wants to build booths for each of them that they might root themselves in place. But Jesus knows that life is brutal. Yet he does not shrink from who he is, nor does he shirk what he came to do. He leaves the mountain the very next day, and once again he faces pain and grief Jesus must, as the Messiah, be in the deadly thick of things in this life. Now, our text today from Luke's gospel is a bit of a turning point. We hear that Jesus sets his face towards Jerusalem, where he knows that he will suffer and die. He steals himself for what is inevitably to come. Inevitable, of course, because Jesus will stay the course. From here until chapter 19, Jesus does just that on a journey towards Jerusalem. And then in that chapter, he enters the city triumphantly. We will gather and hear this story either in person or virtually on Palm Sunday. We will wave our blessed branches and sing Hosanna as Jesus comes to us. We are reminded as Jesus journeys towards Jerusalem, as he sets his face first and then resolutely follows through that you can't get to Good Friday without going through Lent. And you can't get to Easter Sunday without going through Good Friday. The only way is through. So we begin our Lenten journey today with Ash Wednesday. We hear a call during this Lenten season to observe our sin and our mortality, to acknowledge our brokenness and our finitude, we may ask ourselves, why? Why have such a season in the church year, especially this year? Is it not morbid? Is it not depressing to dwell on these things? Do we really need a reminder of our sin and our brokenness, of our mortality and our finitude? There has been and will be so much sickness and so much death. Why do we have a season like Lent? I would offer this. We recognize these deeply unpleasant things about ourselves because Jesus 
by God does something about it. In our baptism liturgy, we renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God, the powers of this world that rebel against God, and the ways of sin that draw us from God. Jesus and his ministry was many steps ahead of us. He not only renounces these things, but he meets them head on. And in doing doing so, he defeats them. Defeats them fully and finally. And so we begin Lent today with Ash Wednesday. The ashes serve as a reminder that we are dust and to dust we shall return. They tell us that death is certain. And yet we mark ourselves with the ashes in the form of a cross. That yes, serves as a symbol of Jesus' crucifixion, but moreover, more importantly, serves as a symbol of God's victory over death. We are reminded when we impose our Ash Wednesday ashes that this symbol was first etched on our foreheads in baptism when we were claimed as God's beloved children. The oil used on our heads that day at baptism and even the ashes we use today, they will wear off eventually. But make no mistake, there is an indelibility to the cross of Jesus Christ. When we are claimed by God, we are claimed forever. We observe Ash Wednesday in Lent, not for their own sake, but for the purpose of preparing ourselves for the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and of our resurrection. The only way out is through. Jesus made it through. And so will we. Amen. Friends in Christ, 
Today, with the whole church, we enter the time of remembering Jesus' Passover from death to life, and our life in Christ is renewed. We begin this holy season by acknowledging our need for repentance and for God's mercy. We are created to experience joy and communion with God, to love one another, and to live in harmony with creation. But our sinful rebellion separates us from God, our neighbors, and creation, so that we do not enjoy life, the life our Creator intended. As disciples of Jesus, we are called to a discipline that contends against evil and resists whatever leads us away from love of God and neighbor. I invite you, therefore, to the discipline of Lent, self-examination and repentance, prayer and fasting, sacrificial giving and works of love, strengthened by the gifts of word and sacrament. Let us continue our journey through these 40 days to the great three days of Jesus' death and resurrection. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another and before the whole company of heaven that we have sinned by our fault, by our own fault, by our own most grievous fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, O God. We have shut our ears to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O God. Our past unfaithfulness, the pride, envy, hypocrisy, and apathy that have infected our lives, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our self-indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our negligence in prayer and worship, and our failure to share the faith that is in us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our neglect of human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our false judgments, our uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Restore us, O God, and let your anger depart from us. Hear us, O God, for your mercy is great. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are we given eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. If you have received ashes, now is the time to impose them on your forehead or the foreheads of those around you. If you don't have ashes, simply trace the sign of the cross on your forehead.
accomplish in us, O oh God, the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Savior, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. O oh God, you call your church to be ministers of reconciliation throughout the world. Inspire your church in its proclamations of the gospel and guide its ministries to build up the body of Christ. Especially we pray for bishops Elizabeth Eaton and William Gold. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. O oh God, you created the earth and all its inhabitants and you declared that it is good. Protect mountains and valleys, animals and plants, and direct us to be good stewards of all you have made. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O oh God, you desire peace. Direct governments and leaders, especially President Joe Biden and Governor Larry Hogan, to work for the well-being of all people and raise up advocates to speak and serve on behalf of the downtrodden. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, you are our hope in the midst of despair, our help in the midst of sorrow, and our consolation in the midst of affliction. Grant comfort to all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, especially Trudy, Lester, Elisha, Bonnie, Joan, Lind, Joan, Don, Deneen, Sylvia, Elsie Marie, Teresa, Harry, Georgian, Jean, Betty, Lois, David, Lee, Amanda, Heather, and Logan, and support caregivers who attend to all in need Lord, in your mercy, hear our hear prayer. prayer. O oh God, you are love, and you call us to love one another. Accompany with your grace those journeying toward baptism and call us to repentance as we prepare to celebrate Christ's death and resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, you are our life and our salvation. We give you thanks for the righteous who have died in faith. Inspire us by their example to proclaim your steadfast love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear prayer. our prayer. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Merciful God, accompany our, our journey, journey through, through these 40, 40 days. days. Renew, Renew us in, in the, the gift of baptism, baptism that, that we may provide for those who are poor, pray for those in need, fast from self-indulgence, self and above and all, that we may find our treasure in the life of your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ our, our Savior, Savior and Lord, who lives and, and reigns, reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, God, now and forever. forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth into the world to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people, love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.